That's how we start shit around here. <laughs> All righty, guys and gals, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I am Big E, and we are playing the World of Warcraft Classic. The Burning Crusade is the flavor of World of Warcraft we're currently playing. It's delicious. Mm. It's my top three flavors. It is. Uh, anyway, right up on the screen, the Dancing Machine. You may know him as the three-strand comb over. You may know him as simply The Stash. That's Mr. Mountain. This is our gnome warrior, and we are hanging out here in Everlook. And this episode, we are going to try to complete something we could not complete last episode, which is Brumarian of the Chillwind. We can untrack this one. We're going to try again to find Brumarian. I did look... I looked this up last episode, and then I double-checked again today. The, the path it shows, it can be like anywhere like this on each side of the road in this area. So we're going to we're gonna do this again. I think I'm going to go a little bit deeper, closer to the mountains. I think I hugged a little bit too close to the road. Maybe he's over here. I'm not sure. Oh, look at this. Joyous journeys, everybody. We have increased experience by 50%. Now, uh, I think this only affects level... 10 through 59. Uh, but still, that's damn nice. We also have the rested XP. I Maybe that is... So does that mean we have 250% XP boost? I don't know. I don't know if those two things stack. Yeah, I guess that's kind of nice. It's kind of cool that they put a little uh, icon up there, I suppose. I've never really been a fan uh, whenever they do stuff like this. But honestly, this... These late last levels are damn. They take a long time <laughs> to complete. Yes, they do. So I actually don't mind it. It helps people level up their characters, get ready for Wrath of the Lich King, all that good stuff. Anyway, let's make a targeting macro here. Right here, right now. I hate that song. Uh, let's do that. Get up there, Mountain. Targeting macro... Here we go. Um, I might have one in here somewhere. I could just change it. Mountain specific. No, I got my fish and stuff. I got... Thank you. Here it is. Target. Let's target... What is this thing called? B-R-U-M? Don't have to do the whole thing, but we're going to do it anyway. All right. We'll just drag this... Why don't I have a bar over here? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, we'll just run around spamming this button. See if we can find this beast. Boy, we got all kinds of stuff in here, don't we? Let's go all the way over this way. How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's well. I want to apologize for the last... Uh, well, it was actually a City Skylines episode. Um... My volume levels were all screwed up. Like, my voice was low and the music was too high. It's such a struggle. I should have named the channel Sound Struggles. That's really what the channel should be called. I mean, Misty Mountain Gaming, it's got a nice ring to it. But Sound Struggles... I should have picked something. I mean, maybe I should have... I tried to... should have at least... I tried to be accurate. All right, we're just... Oh, there he is. It worked. Targeting macro. Successful. There he is over there. And look at how good this skull is, my F1 key. I would not be able to see him without that. You can see it through trees. There he is. What level is this? Level 58. We ain't even worried about a level 58. Prepare to die. I guess just because. I mean, it doesn't look like he's bothering anybody. That doesn't matter. Um. Oh, okay. That's actually not terrible. I mean, it's not amazing. It's not, I'm not enjoying it. Boy, that stacks right up too, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna. We're gonna do that. 
Okay, wow. We have three stacks of that on us. It doesn't say how much damage. I kind of hate when it, when, when you have a debuff like that. It really, I did not need to retaliation right there. <laughs> but I got a little freaked out when I saw that they were stacking up on me. Any old two? Well, let's go turn this in. That worked out well. The whole targeting macro thing. If anybody's curious on how to do that, it's really easy. You just go into um, create macro. You and to do that, you type in forward slash macro. It brings up this window, and you can create character specific macros. Like I have a fishing thing over here, um, and there's all kinds of stuff you can do. You can greet people, um, but if you want to target something, forward slash, you just you could write target out or just T A R, and then the name of whatever you're looking for. And it doesn't even have to be the full name. If it's a unique name, you could just type the first three letters or so. You drag, excuse me, <laughs> save it, drag it down to your bar, and then you can spam it. And when you get in range, um, it'll pop up. It'll pop up up here, and then you can right-click and put a skull on it. And you'll be able to see that mob through trees and stuff. Yeah, that's how that works. Thanks for over-explaining it to us, E. <laughs> I'm just trying to be helpful. I am just trying to be helpful. I still learn things about this game. I do. Sometimes I'll, I'll be watching a Let's Play and I'll see somebody do something. It's like, oh, I had no idea you could do that. It's pretty handy if you're trying to find a mob. I really hope this goes here. It does, right here. Let's go turn this in. Peace, friend. Um, here we are. Oh, I forgot. Well, I didn't forget. I didn't think we had to read that first thing. Boy, there's a follow-up to this. Shiro Tom. In northern winter spring, great cats assemble around a large landmark called Frost Saber Rock. The leader of these cats is known by the name of Shirotum. Defeating the matriarch of the Frost Sabers would grant you much, res much respect in the eyes of your fellow gnome. I don't really... I don't think so. I don't think gnomes care about this. Go again to the Harsh Wilds, and once there, gathered sacred meat from the Frost Sabers. Find the stone of Shirotum and place it there. Placing the meat of her kin before her will summon her in anger. <laughs> why Why are we doing this? That's what I want to know. There's a one-handed sword or a dagger. So my pawn is telling me this one would sell. I'm always interested to see what things look like. So for anybody who doesn't know, if you get a quest reward... If you hold your left control down and click on the item, it will show you what it looks like in your hand. That's a pretty cool looking dagger. Let's see what this looks like. All right. It's not it's not amazing, but they they look damn sharp. What does she have? How you doing, my? I'm okay. What is this? Oh, this is the elite thing. Spirits be with you, mom. Those are the elite giants she wants us to uh, kill. Let's see what level this thing is. It's a yellow quest. I think this is quite tough, though. Should we go do this? Let's go do it. Oh boy. Okay, we let's sell a few things. We we have we've got some bag space. Where's a repair freak? Should be a repair freak up here somewhere. Yeah. What do you want? I think we actually need a repair because I think we died. Oh, these are auctioneers. Let me track repair. Zoom in. Right over here. So the repair people look like the anvils. Well, that's the the marker. <laughs> They're not anvils. What's up? What's up? We'll do a little bit of that. We'll do a little bit of that and that. Some of this. Additional. Uh, I don't want to sell that. Keep my dense stone. Do I care about giant eggs? Maybe I do. We gotta go turn this quest in. This will free up uh, some quests, some quest, uh, some bag space for us. We need to turn that in. This gets all turned in together. That is our yeti. Let's put this freak up here. Will I ever remember to use the yeti? Probably not. <laughs> And we'll save that as a cooking ingredient. All right. <laughs> Play it 
I could help. I'm glad you could help too. You freaky little bastard, yeah. All right, let's go do this. It's going to be to the south. We're heading north. No, it's going to be to the north. It's going to be down here. Let's go this way. I'm going to see. Let's see how much... Um, this thing's two, level, two levels below us. Let's see how much XP we get for this. Uh, when we kill it. I didn't look when we killed the last thing. Stay away from me, Shard Tooth Mauler. It's for your own safety. I'm a dangerous man. I'm a dangerous gnome. I mean it. Don't... 880. Okay. That seems like a lot. So um, we would have got like 440 for that, right? Because quick wizard math. I just do huge calculations like that. In my head. That's right. <laughs> All right. I think this is a pretty tough quest. I think it is fairly tough. So we're going to slay some saber tooths. Should be a nice little chunk of XP. I guess everything we do now is going to be a nice little chunk of XP. Wrath of the Lich King, September 26. What's weird is when I watched the, the trailer, it said September 27th. It says in the trailer. I don't know if they've changed it, but... It says September 26th, like on the splash screen and Battle.net and all that, but if you watch that trailer, at the end it says September 27th. What the hell, Blizzard? Microsoft Activision. Disney. <laughs> Here he goes. Here he goes. Get ready for a retail blitz. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do it, okay? I'm not going to do it. I want to, but I'm not. Also, we've not been putting our heavy sharpening stone on our Blade of Titans. We're going to do that. Here it is. Frost Saber Rock. We'll start slaying some of the freaks around here. We did this on Finn, and uh, I believe there's some stealthy mobs here. That will wreck you. Yeah. And I think I had trouble finding the... That was a stealthy mob right there. I think I had trouble finding the actual, like, the thing I place it on. The rock I place it on. Oh, I hear him. Okay, he's on me. Level 59. Go ahead and attack, bro. Let's get that up. So this is a level above us. We got 880 for something two levels below us. Let's see what we get for this mob. I'm going to guess 1,200. That's my guess. Got any other bidders on the prices right? I'm guessing 1,200. Nobody better bet a dollar. Guy's like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about the price is right, you fetuses. 1056. So if you would have bet a dollar, you would have won. And that's why I didn't allow it. <laughs> All right. All right, funny boy. Let's get that on. So it's best not to charge over and attack this because there could be stealthy mobs in between. We don't want two of these on us. We just don't. I'm going to do it anyway. There's one right there. So you can mark a, mo a stealthy mob, but as soon as they do that and disappear, the, the mark disappears. It won't stay marked. Now, Hunter's Mark works like that with Hunter. One of the nice little perks of being a Hunter. If you put a Hunter's Mark on something that can stealth, a stealthy class, it will stay. I'm pretty sure it'll stay. 
Um, so what do, do we need more than one of these? No, we're looking for frost saber meat, right? Um, yeah. Sacred meat from the frost sabers. Maybe we're looking for sacred meat. Let's get this stealthy mob that's in here somewhere. Okay. Coming right over for me. We definitely want demoralizing shout up on these creatures. Yeah, I recall we had a hell of a time in here on Finn. Hell of a time. How dare you parry a cleave? How dare you parry and execute, you bastard. We're pretty low here. So if we got attacked by something else, it would not be good. Oh, that was a level 60. We got 1104 for that. I didn't even realize that was a level 60. We're actually running really low on food. We have nine pieces of fish left. We got bandages. We can make bandages. All the bandages we want. These are damn good. These bandages are real good. Anyway, the back, the nerve pain is still a thing. It's still happening. Let's create um, seven of these. Okay, I guess I'll just do it that way. Just give us a full stack here. Because again, quick wizard math. 13 plus 7, 20. Boom. Like a human calculator. Yeah, the nerve paint is still a thing. I'm trying to move around. Try, you know, I'm doing the same thing I've been doing. Hopefully it's going to go away soon. I really do. Because it's, uh, it's unbearable. You guys, I got to tell you what's unbearable. Listening to you complain about it. <laughs> That's what's unbearable. Anyway, yesterday, uh, yesterday morning, well, I, I, I've got a buddy at the gym. Like, I, this is the, it's the breakfast club. I've talked about these guys numerous times. Some older guys in the gym. They're in there every day or every morning real early. They've all known each other for like 20, 25 years. I'm like the new kid on the block, and I'm younger than they are. There's the meat. That's what we need. Anyway, one of the guys, uh, Pat, he's he had a laptop that stopped working on him, and that's kind of my specialty is fixing broken computers, and I love it. It's a nice little challenge. Um, boy, was this laptop messed up. <laughs> it was hosed. So it's it's going to be easy to get attacked in here by these stealthy mobs. Where was this rock? I might look this up because uh, we ran all over hell and back trying to get this, trying to find this rock. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. I'm going to look this up after we kill this mob here. Anyway, I spent 11 hours fixing that laptop yesterday. I didn't have anything else to do. It was a challenge. I got it working. It was stuck in a repair loop. And the best that I can guess is that the utility partition, which is a hidden partition on the hard drive, uh, was damaged. I don't know, physically or logically or whatever. And I've got a bunch of utility disks trying to mark it as a bad sector. I spent a lot of time. Uh, I just couldn't figure it out. Finally, I was able to get the guy's documents off of it. And then I just wiped it. I deleted all the partitions, uh, created one new partition. Um, but well, before that, I tried. I tried everything to restore it, restore points. Nothing was working because it was just stuck in this loop. Um, and once I got the data off, 
Oh my god. And I forgot to check. Once I got the data off, uh, I tried just to um, just wipe it and reinstall because the utility partition, it essentially acts as having the, the operating system disk to reload the operating system because they don't give out disks anymore. It's not how it works. But the computer is old. It originally had Windows XP on it, was upgraded to Windows 7, and then was upgraded to Windows 10. Uh, but I couldn't, it wouldn't happen. None of it was happening. None of the restore. So I had to wipe it. And then I realized, well, wait a minute, I don't have it. The only operating system I have is Windows XP. <laughs> so I had to put Windows XP on it. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare trying to put that, that shit back on it. Where? Okay. Let me look up where this is. I don't remember. It might be up top. Let's get up here. I'm going to look up where this where this altar is. It might be up top. Uh, what is it called? It's just called Shy uh, Rodom. Let's see where this is. Oh, one of the first things I saw was Shy Rodom uh, Hunter Pet. What if you could tame that? Uh, let's see here. Oh, is it way down there? I see. Wait a minute. Let me make sure I see. Uh, oh, she does a fear. That's right. She has a fear and a bleed. So that was the problem. I remember she'll put a fear on you and fear you into stealthy mobs. What I want to know is where the hell... Okay. I see. All right. It should be... Actually, should be right ahead of us. It should be in here. The altar should be in here. So we're, we're going to clear out a little bit. I do remember the fear. I think warlocks have fear ward. Oh, okay. Well, I guess if I come up a little bit closer, I could have just seen... <laughs> I could have just seen the question mark. Level 56... Um, I'm going to take some chances here. I'm going to summon her and come into this open area right here. We're taking chances. We're a damn warrior. That's what we do. Oh my god, she's coming. Oh my god. I'm not scared. You're scared. She fears immediately. Okay, it's not a long fear. Hopefully she can't just willy-nilly put this shit up. It does suck that my retaliation is on CD. There's the bleed. So that actually works against her. This slowing that she does, it works against her own fear. She's probably too stupid to even realize it. I'm gonna death wish. Slower attack speed down. What is this? What the fuck is this, bro? I forgot about this thing. Okay, she's dead. What is this dude? All right, we might take a death here. I need big hits. Can I please get my fucking rend up, bro? Oh, mountain hanging there, bro. We're getting him down. Execute's gonna pop up soonish. Come on. Execute now. Missed it. M parried it. Missed execute, then he parried it. Get fucked. <laughs> That's how we do it, bro. That's the life of a warrior right there. 60 and a 60 ain't even a thing. Well, it's a thing, but it ain't a thing for us. All right, let's go turn this in. We've got a lot of quests we can turn in here. What is this? Western Plague Lance. Wait. Oh, this uh, this guy, this has guy has a quest. I think if you follow that quest chain, you can actually get a frost saber mount. I have it. I think that's what that is. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think that's what it is. And it takes a while to get. I don't. Maybe it's been nerfed or something. But I remember doing that. 
Do oh my fucking balls. I need you. Why is my fear up, man? Get fucked. Yes, yeah, stay sneaked so your movement's reduced by 50%. I like that sort of thing. Yeah, you stay sneaked. Seems like a good play. Good call. <laughs> if you want to catch somebody, you need to reduce your movement speed by 50%. I want to know how he's still catching me. Yeah, you better run off. Because if I have to turn around, it's going to be curtains for you. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, the Frost Saber mount. It's pretty cool looking. I have it on my my lock character. That's where I have all my achievements and stuff on that character. He's on Gnome Ragon. I remember I was in a raid one time way back when. And uh, it was just looking for raid. It was just like a... just I was just... I don't know what I was doing. Just trying to have fun, mix it up. But I remember somebody... I guess they looked at my character or something. Or I don't know... But he said to the whole thing, he's like, Hey, Locke. I was like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> he said, no, there was never, ever a good player that came from Nomergon or something like that. And I was just like, what? <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> it was weird, man. I don't know. Maybe the guy felt I don't know what the fuck, but I, I'll never forget it. And other people in the in the raid were like, "What does that matter? Like, <laughs> where does this get turned in? Where does our um? What are we looking for here? No, that's the package. This. Where does this get turned in? Oh, Eastern Plague Lands. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to be going to the Plague Lands here shortly. I thought that the Highborn slang that we did got turned in there, but apparently not. We do it on time. Ah, we'll wrap it up in half an hour. We'll turn this quest in. Oh, it might be done here. We need to get over to Rutheran Village. We'll probably fly there from here. I'll jump on the bird so we're on the way for next episode. It's fairly close. It's just right up here. Nobody good ever came from Nomragon. <laughs> okay. All the good say all the good players were obviously from his server. On his realm, since he was in looking for raid. <laughs> Just completely uncalled for out of the blue. No provocation, just wasn't provoked, just nothing, just random. You s seem salty about it. I'm not salty about it. It was just weird as hell. Like, he specifically singled me out. <laughs> it's not like he even whispered me. It was like to the whole raid. Okay. Uh, I've been you have proven both your strength and your determination. Many more challenges await you, but I have already shown you as much as I am able. This guy, he taught me so much. He taught us that he can stand here in the safety of Everlook and he could give me a quest to go out and risk my life and kill animals. This is the knowledge that he has bestowed on us and I am so grateful. Storm Shadow Hoof. <laughs> oh, look at this. We learn from our life experiences, Mountain. I am sure that you have only become stronger and wiser as a result of yours. You have grown much since we first spoke. Take this in remembrance of the difficult tasks you have accomplished as a gnome warrior. And that, and know that you will always have my respect and admiration. This is... It's, yeah, it's a protection upgrade for Prot. It's 150, 150 extra health. That's like 90 extra health for us. But we lose 5 strength, so uh, this... To me, personally, this isn't an upgrade. The plus 5 strength is well... Uh, is much better. Because we're essentially um, a retribution warrior. Um, all right. Let us... I'm going to jump on the bird. 
We're gonna fly to Rutherand Village, or I'm gonna we're gonna get on our way to Rutherand Village and try to avoid annoying songs that I've heard a million times. It's time for me to make a new playlist. It damn sure is. Ishnuala. I need to go here, my lady. Be careful. All righty. There we go. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to call it an episode. We got Bru Marion slain. And we got Shy Rodam, or Shy Rodam, however you would say that. We got her slain. Killed some animals, some sacred beasts, and now we feel better about ourselves. <laughs> anyway, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. You guys and gals, take care. Mr. Mountain and myself, we'll catch you in the next episode. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Take care and peace. <laughs>